Okay, let's have a quick look on um, the loops I did um, within one of the Riemann collections. Um, many loops are built with Machina, with their own library which uh, comes with it and uh, with my library, so I tend to mix it. Um, and I've got three FX on the master, which is the first one in the chain is uh, the fat sole, which is a tape saturation. Um, yeah, it compresses a little bit and makes it a little bit warmer and a little bit distorted. Then um, a compressor with a really slow attack time to let the kick through and the transients and a short release time. Um, and a limiter. It's actually a compressor, but uh, you can set it to limit, and um, it doesn't. It's not a brick wall limit that doesn't limit everything. Um, it's just a compressor with a very high compression ratio. Okay, let's have a listen to the loop. Let me quickly solo the elements. Yeah, it's a kick drum. And um, instead of uh, showing you how I did it, um, let's just do a new one. I'll go to Machina. New project. Okay. The kick drum should be really tight on the spot, so um, I choose the step sequencer. And... Um, Choose a kick drum. I've imported my own kick drums as well here. So I can choose between the factory ones and my own ones. Let's just go uh, for one of my kick drums. Let's just have a listen. Okay, that one is too deep and too long. Well, but that doesn't matter. We could um, make it shorter. So I'll set an attack, decay, sustain, release curve to it and make it shorter. Okay. Yeah, so that let's say that's our sub kick drum. So I'll take away the, the attack. And let's add a more punchy um, kick drum with more transients. So go to step sequencer, layer that on top, and choose another kick drum. Um, okay, that's a bit too punchy, probably. shorten that as well okay I changed the pitch by two half tones to make it more fit together I think it's too loud as well so let's um, reduce the volume Okay. Let's add a tom or anything in the deep midfield. Or maybe a kick drum which is pitched 
pitched up. Um, I just one now, which I sampled from the Electribe. Okay, that's too deep. Let's make it short a little bit. Okay, let's make the patch um, double-sized because um, yeah, we've got two bars and let's make ver more variations in the second bar. Did record and went along, and um, yeah, it's not 100% on time, um, but I still want to keep the human feel, you know. Um, so I go to um, shift quantize 50%. That's a really nice feature which I use a lot. So it will not put it directly on the 16th. It would just drag it 50% towards that point, which is really nice. We could even add a swing to the whole machine, but um, let's keep it like this. And yeah, it's a bit too dry, this tom, so let's put an effect on it. Maybe a beat delay would fit, just try. Just give it more organic feeling, I think. Let's search for a clap here, probably. Um, yeah, let's go into Transistor Punch. That's an expansion pack from Native Instruments. Quantize it again with 50%. Yeah, and this one is too loud, I think, so I'll reduce it in volume. And I think it's too dry as well, so let's put some reverb on it. I'll try another effect, the frequency shifter. That's nice, but we should make it shorter probably.
Yeah. And let's try a rework on top of this. Search for hi hat probably. Maybe a right on top. filter in it because it has way too much low end. High pass filter.
here we go, a rough techno beat. Let's have a listen to the, the single elements again. Yeah. Kick drum one, kick drum two, the tom like thing, the clap with the effects. I had the right and yeah, let's say the tom. Done. 